is your position on Trauma Star, keep it or dump it? And well, Trauma Star is something that the community and the people voted for, and they voted that they wanted it. So I would support it until the community decides they don't want it and would vote it out. But it was voted by the community to have it, and so I would support it as long as the community is behind it. I agree in part with Matt, the citizens of the community on the referendum did in fact vote uh, that, that uh, we keep or fund the Trauma Star. Uh, what I don't agree with is that it should be a park or accountable to the Sheriff's Office uh, budget and uh, under its line item, uh, it may be under its line item con control, but with the, the county as far as budgeting requirements and etc. shouldn't be considered our, and I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, isn't uh, held accountable to us as part of our overall, uh, for, or part of the $43 million or etc. It's, it's kind of like a separate uh, expense item, and I believe that's the way it should be. Again, with Matt, uh, I say that if the citizens of the community uh, want it and are willing to pay for it, they deserve it. Bill, Tom, and I agree with both of the gentlemen that came before me. <clears throat> it wouldn't be my job as the, as the elected sheriff to dictate what applies to the citizens. The citizens voted on Trauma Star. Our part of Trauma Star is $1.32 million a year, roughly. It's a joint effort with the fire department and the Board of County Commissioners. Yes, sir. Um, that was decided by the citizens of this county, and uh, I respect that. Thank you. I noticed some controversy in the Northern Islands on Trauma Star. Um, the way it was brought into inception years ago, I had trouble with it because it was taken away from training funds needs of officers on the street in order to make this happen. However, with that said, at the time of its inception, down in Lower Keys Hospital, there was never a helicopter sitting on a pad. You had a loved one that was involved in a traumatic crash, had a heart condition, something major happened within their life, and they needed to get to Miami now. There was nothing sitting down there waiting to take them. Since Trauma Star's inception, we got regulated into the budgets. All it takes is a loved one, a friend, a neighbor, to need that helicopter one time to be transported. And you're going to agree that it needs to be in place. Another issue last summer, where the Sheriff's Office, I need to stick. I believe step up to the plate, use this line of forfeiture money. Just look at a hyperbaric chamber. Last summer, a young, young man, 16 years old, 15, 16 years old, lost his life in a bad accident. We go through it every year as a marine operator, mini season. You're doing your vessel stops, you're checking the, the crawfish, but you're waiting for that other foot to drop to tell you that you've got a two divers mission or a diver mission. And they bring them up and that person's dead and then you start doing an investigation. I think the sheriff's office needs to lead the community and also look at a hyperbaric chamber, but at some point in time, pass it off to the medical community or maybe fire service or fire and ambulance to pick up. Thank you. Well, there's no question the Trauma Star program is a uh, viable and a, a valuable tool for the community for public safety. Like uh, Lauren said earlier, there's just not much of a need in Upper Keys because they have availability for Miami Air Rescue, which is a wonderful program. Miami Dade County has a Bell 412 helicopter and provides a super service. You can't dispute it. Their service is second to none. Only question came into place was about the people who didn't have that access to that service. And like my opponent said earlier, before the uh, Trauma Star helicopter was up and running, there was no helicopter at the Lower Keys pad or down there. Only one showed up is when the county finally decided to go forward. Um, I think it's a good program. It's a joint cooperative effort between uh, fire rescue and the sheriff's office. But at the end of the day, it's a board of county commission uh, funded program, and the board.
Board County Commission has to make the decision whether they do or don't want the program. And I will respect that decision. If they decide they do want it, we will continue to manage it. If they want us to manage it, or if they decide to uh, get rid of it, I will respect the opinion of the Board of County Commission and they make that decision otherwise. Okay, we're getting, we're getting close now, and then after uh, we're finished with the questions, then each of the candidates will.